What is going on, y'all? It is Par Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today is March the 5th, so you know what that means. Fallout 76's Atomic Shop has an update. Let's get in here and let's see what they've got. But before we got in here to record this, we did check Bethesda's website, and they do have the limited time offers on their website. So as soon as this video is done and over with, we are going to start working on that. If you are a channel member, you will be able to watch that tonight because we are giving channel members early access to our videos but if you are not a channel member and friends do not feel like you need to become a channel member, but that will be released at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's get in here and let's see what is in here today. Oh, wait, no, that couldn't. That's not the Foshnot thing. No, because it would say Foshnot is the city food. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is the, Oh, wait. Is that? Oh, I know I'm skipping ahead. <gasps> They put the vendor in there? Oh, okay, I, okay, okay, I'm, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back. Okay, we know what this is. This was from the pit release. Uh, normally 1800, it's 1350, it's a shelter, it's the neighborhood shelter. Now, this may look pit-like to you because it was released during the release of the pit, but my good friend Alex Soul built an like it, it was like it was like a fifth element scene with all the like cars going by and everything like that i cannot wait to see what more people build with this if you do wind up picking this up because our good friend t noodle actually built the noodle uh like boat from the fifth element so i wonder if t noodle has this and could like recreate that scene just like and like mash up alex's shelter and then that right Oh, that would be so absolutely cool. But okay, okay, let's get in here to the food tr the food truck that, that, that kind of got me. Okay, okay, 1800, the butcher cutting board, the right this way cappy statues, the Nuka-Cola patio set, the castle, the silver barbecue. Oh, also the silver and the black barbecue, apparently. Uh, yeah, I didn't know this the last time that they were in the shop but you can actually cook on them. That is absolutely wonderful. I, I Look, I didn't realize that you could. It makes total sense that you can. But yeah, that is a great camp item. If it's small in size, so you can pretty much fit it anywhere. And, you know, the fact that you can cook on it, I like that fact. Uh, the uh, Street Corner Salesman, which is absolutely amazing that they put them in there. The Big Fred's Trailer, the Pots and Pans Rack. Oh, my God. So this kind of does mix in a little bit of the like meat display and stuff like that, like the cutting board, the pots and pans from the I think it was the 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 Helvetia like um, where we got the little prefab that you can see this is in this is the it's sitting inside of the prefab and it was like last year's Fosh knot that that came out I picked it up last year so this is actually going to be cheaper for me because I do have some of this stuff. But some of this stuff I don't have. And y'all, this is probably one of the best like vendors in the game right now. So look, if you don't already have this, I think it's definitely worth looking at if you don't have the little salesman. But like, yeah, you could you could do so much little goofy stuff with them. But I mean, is it worth $1,800? It, it all depends to you. There's enough there there for me, like seeing a bunch of this stuff out in camps and knowing that the salesman's goofy and like I like having them at my camp, you know, to sell stuff. But really that falls down to if you want to spend, because it does come out to like $18, y'all. The City Park Performance Bundle, $1,500. Uh, Q Barrier, the Wavy Willard's Fake Boulder Set, the Turnstile, the Canoe Bench, the Resonator Guitar Xylophone Classic for Performance Stage, and the Hambone Stool. Oh, for fifteen hundred, if you've been looking for this stuff, that turnstile is pretty cool. But I like, I would have to see it being in use at somebody's camp, and like, does it actually work? Like, I mean, I would think that it would actually work, not just have to jump over it or anything like that. But I like, you know, I don't know. I, I genuinely, I don't know. Fifteen hundred atoms. Uh, if if you've been looking for it, sure. But I, 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 I don't know about that. So this is just kind of the breakdown style of everything. And I am pretty sure that Tonic has actually done, like, bought some of these and showed them off in this video. I'll have a link to it down in the description below. But yeah, like, oh, no, don't, don't, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Please, no. Use your gold bullion. Use your gold bullion. You can buy three a server. Just just use your gold bullion for the lunch boxes. Go talk to Samuel at Foundation and stuff like that. Use your gold bullion. Repair kits, just go join in some queen runs. Just go join in some queen runs because you get improved repair kits. And by the time you've been doing, you know, queen one queen, queen runs for like a, a few weeks, you'll be sitting on 50 or 60. Please do not spend your 
Adams on this. Now, the score booster, I still say don't do it. Uh, just use the ones that you get free from the scoreboard or what seasons is coming up. Just use those. Just stockpile them. Uh, I, I don't I don't suggest. Now, if it was like 50% off, maybe you could buy a couple if you wanted to like help boost your thing. But please don't spend your atoms on this like that. I, I, I just I, I can't I can't say enough. Please don't. The uh, let's see. City of Steel bundle for twelve hundred. We've got the Pittsburgh Union Steel Shop Vac, the Traffic Light, the Yellow Pittsburgh Fire Hydrant, the Mounted Steel Bus, the Steel Photo Frame, and the Pittsburgh Palace. Twelve hundred. I mean, if you've watched an Epic Night video lately, then you might want to have one of those metal statues. You know, I mean, you never, you know, you know, you never know. But like, uh, twelve hundred. It's a cool little prefab. It's, I mean, it's like a three story. It's, you know, like you know, I would see it being built in the uh, post apocalyptic uh, world of Georgia, like where I live. You know, down in the country. But I don't know. It, it, that's that's really up to y'all. Uh, 2,000 uh, atoms for the city structure bundle. Oh, wait, this is a bunch of prefabs. The Slocum Fat Stack, the Family Center, which is the bowling alley, the Wildwood Tavern, I love that. It's it's pretty big, and it doesn't have much of a footprint as far as your budget. The Red Rocket Garage, the Cow Spots Creamery Stand. Now, I have all of these prefabs, and probably my favorite one out of it is the Wildwood uh, Tavern. You know, I like I, I've seen a few... Of these, like Val and them have that one. I I barely see anybody use this one. I, I know I haven't and I barely use the like cow spots bit, but like for two thousand atoms, you know, it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's like four hundred bucks per I mean not four hundred bucks, but four hundred atoms per prefab. That's up to you if you like building with prefabs, but I mean like the Wildwood Tavern has been on sale a few times and so is the Red Rocket Garage. I can't remember necessarily the cow spots um the uh maybe the Fat Stack did go on sale recently like a month or two ago. It's kind of like jogging a memory, but that just recently came out and I don't think I've seen that on a sale yet and this is the first time I think I've seen it on sale when it was away from its own bundle. So you may want to stick around and just wait for another sale to come up. You might get it a little bit cheaper, but if you want it, then you're going to go ahead and pick it up. And there's nothing that I can say that would deter you from that. But for me, I don't know if I would spend 2000 atoms on those prefabs. Personally, uh, the clean city housing bundle, 1500 atoms, the white picket fences, the art artificial wood panels, the clean ranch housing kit, white picket fences, modern fireplace, golden years, rounded cloth, uh, the four poster bed, retro wave, carpet floors, and foundations. Now, I do like that fireplace, but for 1,500 atoms, this is, again, one of those things that if you've been looking for this, you're definitely going to be picking it up. If I, I know I have some of these, like the white picket fences and stuff like that. If I didn't have this stuff, I would not personally pick it up for 1,500 atoms. I, like, I'm not into that. But maybe you are, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's a decent deal if because if you break it apart, just like this right here, the clean ranch housing kit's 700 and the modern fireplace is 500. So you're basically playing 300 atoms for the rest of the stuff. So, I mean, it's a deal if you want it, but it's not for me. And the arcade ride stuff is what we covered last week. I still haven't bought this. I, I, I've been thinking about it. I just don't know. I, I just don't know. But we did buy the utility box. Now, I do want to show y'all something. I do want to show y'all something that we noticed. Hold on a second. Let's get in here. I got I to gotta remember how to work a PlayStation controller. So you see this right here, the utility box generator suit. Well, sweet. It's got the date limit on it, right? 13 days. Now, oh, wait. wait. Is it not here? It's not here anymore. Okay, wait. It's not okay. Wait a second. Last week it was just listed right here for 150, but it didn't have a date on it. I will have to check that out on my main to like, well, on, like on another PC account just to see what's on there. Cause I, I, I don't, that's strange. Okay. I thought I was about to say, Hey, look, you know, it doesn't have a date on it. So maybe Fallout for, you know, Fallout 76 is about to have that just there. I don't know. Maybe maybe it wasn't supposed to be there. I don't know. We'll have to like let me know in the comment section below. Check your check your side if you didn't buy that utility box for one fifty atoms uh, last week. Is it still there? I'll have to check it on my side. Uh, but yeah, we covered all this stuff, and you know, look, hey, great stuff. I am thinking about I am thinking about buying this, 
But at the end of the day, it is 1,800 atoms. And with me buying that uh, utility box, it took it down to like 1696 uh, for the atoms. I don't know. But the greatest hits, ooh, the Vertibird, uh, the Vertigard Blood Eagle Bundle. I know somebody that's very excited about this in the comment section right now. Uh, Vertibird Blood Eagle Power Armor Paint, the Vertigard, uh, why, say, why do I keep saying that? Vertigard Blood Eagle Power Ar Armor Paint, the Vertigard Blood Eagle Jetpack, that's the thing they're going to be excited about. Uh, the Blood Eagle Paint for the Handmade Rifle, the Skulls Fire Pit, ooh, that is cool. Uh, I do have, I have the majority of this stuff. Uh, the Bird Skull uh, Backpack Flare, the Blood Eagle Totem. That thing is loud. It's cool, but it is loud. It is very loud, and it happens every five or seven seconds. <sighs> Just know, you put that at your camp and you hook it up, it's loud, but it's far away from you where you can't hear it because it is very, very, very loud. The Blood Eagle Power Armor Bundle for 1260. All right, let's see. We got a bunch of Blood Eagle stuff. The Blood Eagle Power Armor Paint, the Laser Grid Door, the Pickled Drain, the Skull Lord War Suit, and the Skull Lord Helmet, which you do have a variant of this in the Daily Ops that you can get for just playing and having the RNG chance of getting it. And then you may get like 20,000 of them, but like you'll have them and, you know, like you don't have to spend atoms on it. But the good thing about atoms is you can put this on any character. So that's the one thing that I do like about atoms. I have the majority of this stuff. Um, would I suggest you getting it if you're wanting it? Now, remember, that's not a jetpack with a huge wings behind them. I've I've seen this in comment section before. No, that's the totem. That's not how big the jetpack is. Don't. That's not how big the jetpack is. Do not do not think that's a jetpack. That is the totem that was right here. Okay, okay, that's the totem. Don't get confused. Don't no. The Blood Eagle Bundle for 840 atoms. Uh, the Blood Eagle Nest, the Quack Mask, the Angry Fish Shake, the Quack Outfit, and the Blood Eagle Totem. Okay. You know, honestly, that one's for 840. That's not bad. I just, I, I like the fist. Eh, you know, it is what it is. I don't like, I don't like the outfit. But that might, like, not the, not the headpiece, but maybe the outfit would go with something else. Like another mask or something like that, maybe so. But that's not a bad little like little prefab and stuff. And like I said, keep that thing away from you where you if, uh, unless you don't mind hearing it. Don't you know what I'm saying? Graham don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Graham, Graham don't like. Graham think that loud chal is scared Charlie, and you scared Charlie. I don't like. I, I don't like. See, Graham don't like. So like, you know, you, it's up to you. I like it. But it's loud. It's very, very, very loud. The Blue Ridge paint for 600. The Midnight Watch paint for 750. A Grain Silo for 250. The Freight Wagon for 250. Oh, the Samurai Sword. That's a cool little paint. And the Silver Shroud paint for 250. I, look, I mean, you know, I said 350, right? I didn't say it. It's 350, 250. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I just blanked out there for a second. But yeah, those are cool little paints. Is the ketchup still the same? Number nine. Still again. I'm do not spend four thousand atoms on this ketchup. Don't do it. Ooh, looking into the future. That's a nice little free pose. Let's go. That's actually a really good pose for everybody. A free scout banner. Then we got the budding apothecary. So this gives you some uh just random floor from around the wasteland. I have this. Don't really use it though. I'm not a herbivore, and you know, but I do have it open at my camp. If anybody ever. Like goes in there and like uses it. I personally don't use it. Oh, for the Fallout first for the month. Quintino's saxophone. Okay. Okay. And now I I I I can see I can see why you would give this to us. I can absolutely see a great use for this right now. It with it being that size, I wonder I wonder how it lines up with the dinosaurs. That's all I'm going to say. How does it line up with the dinosaurs? I'm going to figure that out. While I'm editing the thumbnail, I'm going to figure that out. And that's probably going to be the thumbnail. I just want you to know that right now. That's probably... That's probably going to be the thumbnail. Uh, the Alien Invasion Shooting Gallery for 250 Ooh, okay. Man, you could get a couple of arcades. Can't you? Like, like think about this. Because you got, like... 
you got the shooting gallery on that one. Um, so yeah, you got a few, you got a few shooting galleries that you could do, but like for 250, I'm definitely going to pick that up just to have a little, little arcade bit. And then we have the spring winds bundle for the other fallout first, uh, 25% off 1125 St. Patrick's vault boy paint. We're actually using part of the, uh, St. Patrick's vault boy, the leprechaun outfit and stuff like that. Uh, on our Robin Hood build that we're doing right now for live streams, the Clown Punk Ball Toss, the Tall Windmill Generator, the Heirloom Basket Backpack, the Rodeur. Oh, oh, I remember this. Rodo, Rhododendron. 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 I remember the last time I had to say that, and I absolutely failed. Didn't know that was going to be in here. I would have practiced that one. Uh, Flower Bouquet and the Gone Fishing Sign. Now, I did not pick up. This bundle when it came out, but you can bet your bottom dollar because I some of this stuff I do have, but yeah, I, I'll, I'll pick that up for eleven twenty five just just to just to have some of that stuff. But let me know in the comment section below. Did Bethesda get you for any atoms this week, y'all? Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day just to check this video out. I have no idea what video we're going to actually suggest, but seriously, thank y'all so much for being here, and hopefully you have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland, friends. I would love to thank our channel members for the constant support. Y'all seriously have a great and wonderful day out there in the wastelands of Appalachia. We'll catch you later, friends. Peace. Love you.